the Torah tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu became angry when he came down and he saw that they were all dancing around the eagle, that he broke the luchas. Okay, Vayasha, he threw them from his hands. Vayashlech miyodav, he threw the luchas from his hands, and he broke them. So the Medrash says that Moshe Rabbeinu did not break the luchas. Okay. But the, since the, the letters, which represented the, the, the spiritual life of those luchas, went ahead and flew off the luchas, okay, so that the luchas became heavy, okay, and, 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 uh, and they fell out of his hands. Okay. Now the Chassam Saif is ready, is the Hafla, okay, asks the following question about this Medrash. We know that Moshe Rabbeinu went ahead and carved out new luchos. The second luchos. Those didn't come from Hashem. Okay. And who carried them up the mountain? Moshe Rabbeinu did. They didn't have anything written on them then. Okay. So you see that he was capable of carrying the luchos. How did he come by these stones? Saperstein, uh, say in, in Yiddish. Snapyoyren, sunny poyren, sunny poyren, sapphire. I think a sapphire stone. Okay, sapphire Okay, sapphire stone. So how did he come by then? It says the Rebbeinu Shlomo went ahead and showed that there appeared in the tent of Moshe Rabbeinu a these stones just appeared in his tent. Hashem went ahead and gave him a gift of these stones, but he had to go ahead and carve out the luchos and bring them up, and they had nothing written on them then. Okay, so you see that he was capable of carrying them. So how are we to understand this medrash, that as soon as the ICS, the letters flew off, he couldn't, he couldn't carry them? So the Sam Seifer wants to suggest, in answer to this question that it's really asked, that Moshe Rabbeinu was the one that caused the letters to fly off. Because Moshe Rabbeinu, I think some of you may be familiar with the Medrash, that the reason for the breaking of the Luchas was that the Luchas represented the, 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 the finishing the contract, with the finishing touch of the contract that there was between Hashem and B'nai Yisrael. Okay. So if before he gives them the Luchas, he breaks it, so he breaks the contract. And that way, he is saved B'nai Yisra. So Moshe Rabbeinu, okay, Moshe Rabbeinu wanted, so to speak, he wanted, say, the Sam Seifer says, he wanted the letters to fly off. Now, the question is, though, how was he able to go ahead and carry those stones up? So the Sam Seifer says, because Moshe Rabbeinu was Moshe Nefesh for B'nai Yisrael, in order to go ahead and mitigate the Davera, Okay, by breaking the contract, so to speak, by breaking the luchais, okay, so that they wouldn't be judged as a, a married woman, so mm-hmm. to speak, okay. So, so in the schus and the merit of being Moisa Nefesh, not such a simple thing. These stones are, they're like a spiritual entity. You know, the, 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 I mean, that's why, why do you think you were able to go ahead and look at the stone one way and read it, and you look at it the other way and you could go ahead and read the same, because they're not physical. It's not, it's not, he went ahead and he took his life into his own hands, so to speak, by breaking, by breaking the luchas. Okay, okay. But he was Moise Nefesh, and because he was Moise Nefesh, Hashem went ahead and gave him the strength to bring up the stones, even though they had no, even though they had no letters.